Hey everybody, I'm going to do another quick video on the Peruvian update. There's temperature set, hitting up to 96 degrees on this heat pad. This is what I wanted to point out here, what to look for. His ambient temperatures, 87 degrees, his humidity was just up to 92, now it's dropping because he just opened his door. And this is the behavior you want to see. See, this animal knows he's virally infected and he's fighting the virus off on his own by laying on this heat pad. And he will stay here probably for several weeks at a time without even moving. Maybe just to get a drink of water. I know he hasn't been out because this thing can easily be toppled and I have not had to pick it up or make any adjustments at all. He could easily just tip it right over. Okay, just that easy. And I have never had to make adjustments. That's how I know he has not even been out. He just sticks his head out. And this was the exact behavior that I witnessed on the other three. They'll superheat themselves to the point to where my Guyana, I touched her once just to make sure she was okay. And I just couldn't believe the amount of heat that her body was throwing off despite the facts of their temperatures being in the high 80s. See, that 86 degrees Fahrenheit is more than adequate enough for the digestion process. I'm going to get his door closed up here in a second because I don't want to, I'm going to have to squirt a little bit to make sure get his humidity boosted back up again. There's his large water bowl for him. Yep, this is what I was talking about earlier. This is what they do, especially when they're sick, is they'll just lay right there on that heat mat. I have it set to 95 degrees and he's soaking up all that heat and hasn't budged. Which is a very good sign. He knows what he needs. To get better. That's all I have for now. You have a good day. I just wanted to make document this. Animals that are virally infected will just sit there and camp out on that heat pad. And they will not move for weeks at a time. Only to eat. We need to get a swab of water and go that right back on there again. And that's really good. It's boosting his immune system. And he's doing very well. Thanks for watching.